Hello Dragons, <clears throat> my name's Paul Ward, Managing Director of Paragon PE Limited. We're a company that manufacture antimicrobial cleaning products. We're here today to ask for a £100,000 investment for a 5% equity stake in the business to enable us to market our latest products in the range, Halo. Halo is the world's first non-bio liquid laundry detergent proven to kill hospital superbugs such as MRSA and C. diff spore at 30 degrees. Currently there's no product like it on the market. We believe by adding Halo to the product range, on the first year of trading on the laundry detergent side, we'll do about £1 million worth of business. This will give the business a turnover of £1.5 million in the first year and a net profit of £250,000. We believe in year two we'll do £2.5 million with a net profit of £500,000 and in year three £4 million with a net profit of £750,000. Any questions? Paul Ward from Lancashire is already running a germ-killing cleaning products business supplying to the healthcare sector. Now he plans to launch his new antivirus laundry detergent into shops. He's asking for £100,000 in return for just 5% of his company. But Peter Jones has struggled to follow the pitch. Paul, what, what are the pictures you've brought there? I've been staring at them and I haven't got a clue what they are. OK. <clears throat> this is a Petri dish with MRSA bacteria in there. And this is clothing washed in our Halo product. And it's showing that after a period of 72 hours, the MR MRSA bacteria still hasn't attacked the clothing. OK, so it acts like almost a repellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it carries on working. Our product is antimicrobial, which means it kills bacteria, it kills funguses, and it can kill viruses as well. And Paul, the obvious question, why, why do you value this business at £2 million? Well, first year of trade, I mean, we, we, the company's actually been trading for sort of like three years. The first year it made a £50,000 loss. This year, to, as I'm standing here now, we've generated, we've done for, uh, £490,000 with a £190,000 profit at this moment in time. Profit? Profit. 190? 190, yeah. Net profit? Net profit, yeah. The dragon seemed taken aback by the sudden profit spurt in Paul's business. Deborah Meaden wants to know its origin. Hi, Hi Deborah. I'm Deborah. Um, how have you increased your net profits so vastly on your previous trading? We developed this whole germ warfare product range. We also manufacture sort of like alcohol gels for, for hospitals, 70% alcohol. You know, like you go in a hospital and you get the, al the alcohol gel there. And the, the swine flea that we've got at the moment has been fantastic for our business because people are buying alcohol gels, hard surface sanitizers, because it, it's it's Okay, Paul, want, yeah. sorry, I'm, 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 I'm yeah, I am sorry, actually yeah, trying yeah, to help because yeah, you need yeah. to be more specific. The type of thing I need to hear from you is that we have quadrupled the amount of sales on that and I'm getting 150% margin on that mm -hmm. as opposed to that. Make, so really specific. We make big margins on the alcohol gel. What, yeah. what kind of margins We're you We're looking at round, round about 80% uh, margin on the alcohol and gel. And that's being driven because of the Influenza, swine flu. Yeah. The current flu pandemic has boosted Paul's business. James Kahn wants to know more about his existing customers. Hi, Paul, I'm James. Hi, James. So you're already in the market and you're already yeah. selling. Mm -hmm. Who have you sold to? We sell it into the private care sector, into care homes, uh, doctor surgeries and um, office supply companies um, who supply, do office cleaning. Is the hospital market also a potential market for you? Sure, yeah. I mean, this particular product, the hard surface cleaner, that has been trialled by the NHS Innovation Centre and we scored 97% infection reduction and it's non-hazardous. And are they buying that yet? We, we supply them into, through distributors who go into the hospitals. So only a small scale at the moment, but it is growing quite rapidly for us. And the company, do you own 100% of the company? 50% of the company. And who owns the other 50%? Uh, Kath Brown, she's my business partner. So you've got 50-50. And does the business have... What's the balance sheet look like? Any debts? We have no debts. We, we, we fund it through cash flow. Thank you. Thanks. The Dragons are impressed by how well Paul and his partner have done. But the success story has left Theo Perfitis puzzled. Paul. I'm Theo. Hi, Theo. <sighs> wow. So, this year so far, mm -hmm. you made £200,000 profit, there or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. You're having a great time. 
So why are you here? On our product, the way it, it develops, we've had a bit of luck this year, and sometimes you need a bit of luck in business. Yeah, well, I agree with that. Um, and what we're trying to do is basically capitalise on that little bit of luck that we've got and get the product into retail. Now, we're here for your expertise, your contacts in retail, if I'm completely 100% honest. How so, much equity are you prepared to give away then for 100,000? Well, I, I, you know, um... What about your other partner? Are you able to make a decision? Yeah, yeah. To what level? They've told me to, to, to try and negotiate 5%. 5% or nothing? 5%. Um, see whether you get... Would, would you get any interest on 5%? Would you get any interest on 5%? This is not an auction. I, I know that, yeah. It's, sorry, it's a flippant way to say it. I didn't, I didn't mean it. So did they say, whatever you do, Paul, don't give away more than 5%. If they offer you, ask for anything else, walk. Yeah, basically. Well, in that case, Paul, I've got to say I'm not going to make you an offer, so I'm out. That's fine. Paul's refusal to negotiate has appalled the dragons. Theo Pafitis is next to have his say. I'd love to have got involved with you. But if you wanted me to get involved with you, you wouldn't be asking me for £100,000 for 5% if you really wanted my contacts. OK. So I'm out. Yeah. Paul, let me tell you where I am. Unfortunately, your valuation is so blinking racy. You know, I'm, I'm afraid it, it leaves me nowhere to go. OK, so For that yeah. reason, I'm out. Thanks. Two more dragons have walked away from the deal. Peter Jones decides to try again. Paul, I think the main, the main point is that we're hanging over this 5%. Mm. It, you know, what sort of levels that you're willing to discuss? Because... If you're not in the sort of 20 to 40 range, I can't see why you're here. Well, I, I, you know, I'm looking somewhere in the region of between 5 and 10%. Between 5 and 10? That's your range? Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to tell you where I am, because I'm, I'm actually annoyed. You've not come in here to try and get investment, and I'm, I'm frustrated by it, because I actually would like to have invested in this type of product. I could really help you into retail, mm -hmm. but everything that you've said doesn't match your intention. Mm -hmm. And to come back and say you'll go for a range between five and ten, valuing your company anywhere between one and two million is a bit of a joke, actually. And I don't think you deserve any more time from me. Okay. So, on that basis, I'm out. Paul's inflexibility has infuriated Peter Jones. Now, James Kahn is the only dragon left. Paul, can I just quickly go back to... The three-year forecast, so this year the profit target's 250,000. Mm -hmm. Next year you're going to make 500. Mm -hmm. And the following year you're going to make 750 profit. Yeah. I really like it, Paul. I like the product. I like what you've done. My only problem is I'm, I'm trying to get my head around the business because the business clearly is not worth the valuation that you've come in here today because you've, to your own admission, have said it's worth that if you guys come in and, you know, help and achieve the growth. So I'll tell you what I'd like to do, Paul. I'll offer you the full £100,000. I'd like 30% of the business, but I would like to give you back 10% for each year that you deliver what you said to me you can deliver, so you get back to 10%. Right, I understand. So I start at 30, I come back to 10, providing that you do your bit. Mm -hmm. OK. OK. Can I just have a...? Yeah, of course you can. Do you want to go...? Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> OK. James, um it is a good offer, um, but I just think at this stage in the business, I just can't take that offer. Um, but I'd like to say thanks for making the offer to me. I'm the driving force with this. I've developed this. You know, this is in my life for the last couple of years, and for me to give 30% of my, it's just not doable. So I would like. Even to, though you get it back. Even though I get it back. Then I'll declare myself out. Thanks a lot. It's been a frustrating encounter for both sides. Paul leaves the den with nothing.